Power 98 in focus. The pandemic has changed the way we use the internet. It's you searched. But as we migrated our lives online, we had to deal with a different kind of threat in the digital realm. Benjamin Ang, who is the coordinator of NTU's Cyber and Homeland Defense Program, explains why. Being online also creates opportunities for cyber criminals and also other people who have that intention to get to our data. Amid these evolving threats, in 2019, digital defense was added as the sixth pillar to the concept of total defense, which falls on February 15th. And with unprecedented amounts lost to scams and sinister players on the web, Mr. Ang said Singaporeans can defend themselves with similar measures they took against the pandemic, except digitally. For instance, social distancing. Step back and say, okay, I'm going to think first, and that's how the digital defense works, that you actually have to think first before you click, think first before you share. Train ourselves to be able to social distance online in that way. Taking 20 seconds to wash our hands has its online equivalent too. Spend that 20 seconds as well, whether it's washing our hands, or whether it's forwarding a message, or whether it's clicking on a link. And if we can spend 20 seconds washing our hands, maybe we can spend 20 seconds keeping ourselves safe online as well. And just as we wear a mask in real life, we can do the same online. Like strong passwords, multi-factor authentication, using secure email systems that will help to scan out the phishing. Those could be your masks that help prevent the virus from coming in. Conducting regular cyber tests is also akin to us taking regular antigen rapid tests. How do you know whether somebody has taken money from your bank account? How do you know whether somebody has gone into your network and started to plan ransomware? So as we are doing all these ARC tests, we should also be doing virus tests, malware tests. And just like connecting the dots when one has been exposed to COVID-19, it is also a socially responsible move to raise awareness of the dangers of fake news. Something that I shared last week was actually false, so I'm just going to keep quiet doesn't work that way. You've got to tell your contacts. Do your own contact tracing and tell the contacts, hey, everybody, the thing which I shared, I'm so sorry, I found out it's actually this. And that's being socially responsible rather than letting it spread. He said it's all about understanding digital defense and how to navigate the online world. Ten years ago, did we know how to use all the smart devices that we do? Did we know how to use all the online services? But now we do. We've learned that and at the same time, we can learn how to do it safely. Power 98 in focus.